Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for our webinar. My name is Tim Cerniglia, and I'm the Southwest Regional Manager for Schmidt. Today we're going to be talking about annealing, also known as heat marking. Before we continue, I want to point out the chat box on the right side of your screen. If you have any questions during the webinar, you can use that chat box to send us a message and our tech support team will reply shortly. We're going to show you two different ways to anneal, in focus and out of focus. But first, let's talk about what annealing is. Unlike engraving, no material is displaced during the annealing process. When you anneal, the mark is produced by heating a metal surface enough to cause a thermochemical reaction that changes the color of the metal. Usually a dark heat mark is preferable and the darkest marks are possible on stainless steel and titanium. However, annealing is possible on any metal containing iron. When you're annealing, the goal is to heat the metal enough to create the mark without displacing any material. When you're annealing in focus, the surface of the part being marked is placed at the laser's focal point where the laser is strongest. To prevent displacing material, you need to keep your laser power low, frequency high, marking speed slow, and hatch distance extremely small. Generally, we recommend power under 10 watts, frequency around 200 kilohertz, speed less than 500 millimeters per second, and a hatch distance less than one hundredth of a millimeter. Your success with these settings will depend on a variety of factors such as the material you're marking and the laser you're using. For our demo mark, we're going to be using our GeoMark Pro. The GeoMark Pro comes standard with a 20 watt laser, power Z axis, and a class one enclosure making it safe to use in any work environment. In celebration of Halloween, we're going to mark this pumpkin graphic onto a stainless steel magnet for today's demo. We've set our GeoMark Pro's power to 8 watts, the frequency to 200 kilohertz, and the speed to 250 millimeters per second. The hatch distance is set at 5 thousandth of a millimeter. We've engraved Happy Halloween on the magnet already just so you can see the difference between a laser engraved mark and a heat mark. So here's the mark, and the first thing you'll notice is how much different the pumpkin and lettering look. But while the pumpkin is solid, it's not very dark. If you want a darker mark while annealing in focus, you need to generate more heat. You can do that by increasing your power, lowering your frequency, slowing your speed, decreasing your hatch distance, and making additional passes. You can try adjusting one or a combination of these things to generate more heat, but keep in mind that if it gets too hot, the laser may start displacing material. Also, slowing your speed, decreasing your hatch distance, and making additional passes will increase your mark cycle time. Generating more heat to anneal is easier when using the out of focus method. By marking out of focus, the laser beam is less concentrated. The laser still heats the metal, but the laser's power is spread over a bigger surface area, making the laser less likely to displace material. It might help to think of it like a pressure washer, as they work on a similar concept. The wider the spray of water, the lower the water pressure, and the harder it is to displace dirt and debris. The more focused and concentrated the spray, the higher the water pressure, and the easier it is to displace dirt and debris. Similarly, annealing out of focus spreads out the laser's power over a wide area so you can increase your laser's power and lower its frequency to generate more heat. We'll demo a heat mark out of focus now. Here's the settings we'll use for that. We've included the in focus settings in parentheses to compare. Power at 20 watts, 
frequency at 20 kilohertz, speed at just 75 millimeters per second, and a hatch distance of four hundredths of a millimeter. Again, your success with these settings will depend on the material you're marking and the laser you're using. We also need to change the distance between the part and the laser so it's out of focus. We've found moving the laser four millimeters closer than usual is ideal for annealing. However, you'll need to try different distances for your own laser. Here's the heat mark out of focus, and as you can see, the mark is a lot darker than our in-focus mark. While it's possible to get a mark this dark in focus, you'll need to use a slow speed setting in combination with tiny hatch distances and multiple passes. This can greatly increase your cycle time and increase the likelihood of displacing material as well. So one of the advantages of annealing out of focus is that you can get a darker mark faster with less need to worry about displacing material. However, because the laser is out of focus, the mark may end up blurrier than when marking in focus. Additionally, it can be difficult to find the right out of focus distance between the laser and the surface of the part you're marking. That's all the time we have today. If you would like more information on annealing, engraving, and other laser topics, we have several articles in the news section of our website which can be found at www.gtschmidt.com forward slash news. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn for marking news and tips. Thanks again for joining our webinar. We hope you join us again next month.